Sometimes we just have to pour out. Before I go to the Lord, often I check my soul as best I can and say, what is in my soul that I need to pour out before God? And sometimes it is guilt, and sometimes it is bitterness, and sometimes it is sorrow, sometimes it is complaint, and sometimes it is joy and gratitude and love. Whatever is in the soul, I pour it out. Let me give you an example of what happens when you pour out. You empty the soul, and God can then pour in. But he can't pour in if the soul is full. A number of years ago, I, our family went down to Moab. We loved Moab, and <clears throat> we were climbing and camping. And I have a little son, my youngest son, McKay. He was about seven or eight at the time. And we went into the Moab rock shop. And there he looked around, and there was a little rock, only cost a dollar, that McKay decided that he wanted to have. And without asking, uh, he just helped himself and put it in his pocket. Now we went home and his little soul filled with remorse and guilt. And he just needed to get it out. And he didn't know how, so he took that little rock and he went to my wife who was in the kitchen. He began to tap it on the counter to try and get her attention. And finally she turned around and she said, as I suppose he sensed she would, McKay, what have you there? And he began to just weep. And he held out his hand with the rock, knowing that she would ask, where did you get it? I stole it. Well, he decided that what he needed to do was write a letter. And so he wrote a letter to Lynn Ottenier's Moab Rock Shop. He said, I need to put the rock in, and I need to put the dollar in with it. That's repentance. And then he said, maybe they won't remember who I was. I better draw a picture of me so they remember. And I was wearing my Cub Scout hat that day, and so he drew a picture of himself with his Cub Scout hat and sad eyes with tears going down them with the dollar on the rock, and he mailed it to the rock shop. He got this in return. I think there's a, is it up on there? This is the letter we got back a few weeks later. This was the pouring in. Dear McKay, my name is Cooper. I work at the Moab Rock Shop. There's the picture. Okay. Thank you very much for returning the rock you stole. Your mom and dad are right. It is very bad to steal. To steal is wrong, and it makes you feel badly, too. I am keeping your dollar and sending you the rock. Okay. There's the rock right there, still on it. You have paid for the rock now, so now you can feel good. And then he put his face on, smiling. Thank you for being so considerate. Stop by and see us next time you come to Moab. Your friend Cooper. A pouring out and a lovely pouring in every time we go by the Moab rock shop. A warm feeling pours in because of that experience.